Let's say there are n advertisers, A1 through AN. And let's say each advertiser has the same budget B and that B is greater than N. There are going to be N times B queries that appear in N rounds of B queries each. Right? So we're going to actually get one query at a time, but we're going to group them into N rounds of B queries each. And here's how the bidding works. With the queries that come in round one, uh, the bidders are A1 through AN. For the queries that appear in round two, the bidders are A2 through AN. For the queries that appear in round I, the bidders are AI through AN, and so on, until round N, the queries that appear in round N, the only bidder is, uh, is AN. And remember, there are B queries uh, in each round, and B is also equal to the budget of uh, each advertiser. So the optimal algorithm in this case uh, is to uh, assign the uh, round I queries to the ith advertiser. That is, uh, assign, um, assign all the round one queries to uh, A1, assign all the round two queries to A2, uh, and so on. So since A1 has budget B, all the B round one queries, uh, all the B round one queries are assigned to A1. A2 has budget B, all the round two queries are assigned to uh, budget uh, to, to advertiser A2. Uh, A, uh, AI has budget B, all the uh, B A, uh, round I queries are assigned to advertiser AI, and so on. Uh, and since the optimal algorithm uh, assigns the, all the queries in round I to advertiser I, it is in fact able to assign each query to some advertiser. And so the revenue of the optimal algorithm is equal to the number of queries, and that is n times b. Now let's see what the balance algorithm does in this case. Um, now let's just uh, imagine that uh, these empty rectangles uh, represent the unspent uh, budget of each of the advertisers, A1 through AN. And as we assign queries uh, to the advertisers, we're going to color these, uh, these rectangles. When the round one uh, queries come in, um, now uh, it's, easy to, um, uh, you know, it's easy to see that the balance algorithm is going to assign an equal number of uh, round one queries to each advertiser, A1 through AN. Now, since there are um, actually um, uh, uh, B uh, round one queries, uh, this means that each advertiser is, uh, is allocated B by N of the around one queries. And I've, and I've shown that with this blue coloring uh, on the slide here. Now when the round two queries come in, uh, the round two queries, the bidders are advertisers A2 through AN. A1 doesn't bid for the round uh, two queries. Uh, and once again, the balance algorithm will assign an equal number of the round two queries to each of the eligible advertisers A2 through AN. Now the number of eligible advertisers in this case is not N, but N minus uh, one. And so the balance algorithm will end up assigning B by N minus uh, one, round, one uh, round two queries to each of the advertisers A2 through AN. Now similarly, when the round three queries come in, the eligible advertisers are A3 through AN, and there are N minus two of them. And so the balance algorithm will end up assigning B by N minus two queries uh, to each of the advertisers uh, A3 through AN. So in general, um, after K rounds, uh, the allocation to advertiser K is given by the formula shown here. SK, which is the ad uh, allocation to advertiser K, uh, is given by sum uh, one through K, uh, B divided by N minus I plus one. Okay. So the allocation to advertiser I is B by N plus B by N minus one plus B by N, uh, N minus two and so on uh, until B by N minus I plus one. Now this process can continue for a while, uh, but uh, once, once uh, after a few rounds, what's going to happen is that we go, uh, this sum, uh, this allocation is going to exhaust the budget of the, I at, uh, uh, of the Kth advertiser. At some point, SK is going to exceed B, which is the uh, total budget that's available to the Kth advertiser. Uh, and at that point, we have exhausted the budget of not just the Kth uh, advertiser, but also all the advertisers, uh, K plus one, K plus two, and so on through N, because all the, all the advertisers, uh, K plus one through N, uh, have the same allocations. So if we can find the smallest K, such that SK is greater than or equal to B, then after K rounds, 
uh, we've exhausted the budgets of all the advertisers, uh, K, K plus one through N, and so we cannot assign any queries to any advertiser beyond that point. So our goal is to find the smallest K such that SK is greater than B. Now let's just look at this uh, simple graphic that shows the allocations of the different advertisers. The allocation to the first advertiser, S1, is just B by N. The allocation to the second advertiser, which is S2, is B by N plus B by N minus 1. The allocation to the third advertiser is the sum of the first three terms and so on. Um, the allocation to the kth advertiser is the sum of the first or the last k terms in the series, uh, B divided by N minus K minus 1, um, all the way to uh, B by N. And we want to find the, uh, the smallest k such that uh, the, the sum of this series or is greater than or equal to B. Now what we're going to do uh, to simplify the problem is that we're going to divide by B throughout. Um, and that's equivalent to saying that uh, the allocation to, to the first advertiser is 1 by N, the allocation of the second advertiser is 1, 1 by N minus 1 and so on. Uh, and what we're ins interested in doing is that we're interested in finding uh, the, 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 the radix uh, n uh, such that the sum of the first k terms is greater than or equal to 1. So we want to find the smallest k such that 1 by n plus 1 by n minus 1 and so on through 1 by n minus k minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Now there's a very famous result due to Euler uh, that says that, that for a really large n, the series 1 plus a half plus, plus 1 third uh, and so on uh, sums to ln n, the natural logarithm of, uh, of n. This is true to a, a small additive constant which we'll ignore. Okay. Now what we've said is that the, we want to uh, find the smallest k such that the sum of the last k terms of the series is equal to 1. If the sum of the last k terms of the series is 1, then the sum of the first n minus k terms of the series must be equal to ln n minus 1, since the sum of the whole series is equal to ln n. However, if you just look at the first n minus k terms of the series, uh, they are 1 plus half and so on through 1 by n minus k. And using Euler's result once again, the sum of these terms can also be written as ln of n minus k. Okay, um, so there's two ways to write the sum of the first n minus k terms of the series uh, as ln n minus k and as ln n minus 1. And so it must be the case that ln n minus 1 is equal to ln of n minus k and when I um, solve that, I can solve that for k, uh, and that uh, gives me uh, n divided by n minus k is equal to e, or k is equal to n times 1 minus 1 over e. So we've, uh, in fact, found the k such that after uh, k rounds, um, we've exhausted the budgets of all advertisers, uh, ak through an, and therefore we cannot assign any queries to any advertiser. So after the first k rounds, and k is n times 1 minus 1 by e, we cannot allocate any query to any advertiser. And so the allocation or the assignment uh, or the revenue from the uh, balance algorithm is given by b times uh, n times 1 minus 1 by e, since in each round we have b queries. Now we've also shown that the uh, revenue of the optimal algorithm is n times b. And therefore, the competitive ratio of the uh, balance algorithm is just a, a ratio of the revenues of the balance algorithm to that of the optimal algorithm, and that's 1 minus 1 over e. So what we've shown here is an example of a scenario where the balance algorithm has a competitive ratio of 1 minus 1 over e. The actual proof that the balance algorithm has this competitive ratio and can do no worse than 1 minus 1 by e uh, is outside the scope of this lecture. And I encourage you to read the, uh, the actual paper for that proof. Now we looked at a very simplified version of the AdWords problem where all advertisers had the same budget B. And 
all uh, ads had the equal expected revenue one. Now in the general version of the problem, uh, this is not the case. In the general version of the problem, uh, all each advertiser has a different budget and all the, the bids, each advertiser has a different bid for each ad and each ad has a different expected click-through rate yielding a different expected revenue. Now in, in the general setting like this, the balance algorithm as I've described so far can actually be quite terrible. Let's look at an example. Suppose there are, uh, there's a query queue and there are two advertisers, A1 and A2. And let's say A1's bid is one and let's say this is also the expected revenue uh, and, uh, the, and A1's budget is $110. A2's bid is 10, uh, and let's say this is also the expected revenue, uh, and uh, the A2's budget is $100. Now, let's say we see 10 instances of the query queue. When the first instance of the, of the query queue comes in, uh, we'll notice that A1 and A2 are both eligible advertisers, but we'll notice that A1's balance is much larger than A2 because A A A1's budget is 110, and A2's uh, budget is uh, 100, and so we'll end up assigning uh, the query to advertiser A1. When the second query comes in, uh, A1's balance is going to be 109, A2's is going to be 100, so the second query is going to go to A1 as well, and so on. So in fact, we will assign all the first 10 instances of the query Q to advertiser A1. And therefore, the uh, revenue of the balance algorithm in this case is going to be $10. The optimal algorithm, as is obvious in this case, will assign um, all the instances of query Q to advertiser A2 and will earn $100. And therefore, the uh, competitive ratio in this case is 10 divided by 100, which is 1 over 10, which is quite terrible. So it turns out that we can fix the balance algorithm to deal with the fact that advertisers have different budgets and different bids. And this is what's called the generalized balance algorithm. Suppose uh, for query Q and bidder I, um, the, uh, the, the, the corresponding bid is XI, uh, and the, the budget of advertiser um, I is, uh, is BI. Okay. Um, and let's say the amount spent so far by the advertiser is MI. Now the fraction of the advertiser's budget, budget left over, which we'll call FI, is one divided by MI over BI. Remember, MI in this case is the uh, is the uh, amount that's been spent so far by the advertiser. BI is the advertiser I's total budget, and therefore one minus MI by BI, which is given by FI, is a fraction of advertiser's I that's left over to be spent. Now we're going to define this new term called psi I of Q, and psi I of Q is given by this expression XI times one minus e raised to negative fi. Okay. And what we're going to do is when a query, query queue comes in, we're going to take each eligible advertiser i and we're going to compute this function psi i of q, which is the product of the bid xi uh, and 1 minus e raised to negative fi. And once we compute that, uh, we're going to allocate the query queue to the bidder i with the largest value of psi i of q. Now, uh, I leave, the, leave it as an exercise to you to uh, show to yourself that in the case where all the bids are equal, all the XIs are equal to one, and all the budgets are equal, uh, that is, um, all the budgets BI are actually equal to a single uh, budget B, uh, alloc alloc you know, allocating queries uh, using generalized balance uh, with the largest value of psi of Q is equivalent to allocating queries to the advertiser with the largest unspent balance. Now, the generalized uh, balance algorithm works in the general uh, setting when the bids and the budgets of each advertiser are different. And in fact, it achieves the same competitive ratio, 1 minus 1 over E, that the balance algorithm achieves in the simpler setting. So in this lecture, we've uh, looked at an algorithm called the balance algorithm um, and, and the generalized version of it called the generalized balance algorithm that, that uh, deals with the adverse problem in the situation with limited budgets and offers a better competitive ratio than the greedy algorithm. Thank you.